Hello, Hero Garrick here. I'm playing some Ground War Domination on Raid, which is everybody's most popular map, or at least it seems that way, from the original map set that came with the stock game. I'm using the M1216 with Long Barrel and Laser Sight. Pretty much a standard setup for using shotguns. Really the only shotgun that does not benefit from that attachment combination is the KSG which I've found more useful with other attachments. Anyways, here, I was able to sneak in past all these guys and pick up a pretty sweet triple. They just lined up perfectly, and I got them all. And look at that, I already got a lightning stri- a hellstorm missile, my bad. <laughs> and I was able to pick up three more. Anyways, I call on my UAV here and pick up a few more kills. And I kind of go on a nice streak here. I was about to decide to go left there, and if I did, I probably would have died from the explosion of that car. So I'm really happy that I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, I noticed that the, the enemy team had just captured the A flag, and so I decided to stay here and back cap the C flag. I'm just kind of frantically looking around because I really don't want to get shot in the back. Anyways, I managed to pick up my self chopper there, and I go for the B flag. I narrowly missed that grenade there, and it's a good thing because I would have uh, it would have ended my streak. Anyway, so here I'm trying to hopefully ambush enemies coming around that corner, but uh, as I'm looking at the UAV, I saw that everyone was not going in that direction, so I had to change my plan of attack. This shotgun, even with long barrel and laser sight, still has an extremely short range. Obviously, the advantage to using it is it's fast full auto fire rate. Potentially you can shoot the S12 faster because it's semi-auto, but in reality the M1216 can just put way more lead down downfield. Anyway, so I managed to pick up another Hellstorm missile and I call it in and I don't really pick up a lot of guys on this one, just one, so I always feel like it's a waste of a missile if I only pick up one guy. Anyways, as you can see there, for some reason I always have this obsession with uh, knifing the glass on those particular areas of the map, so that way it eases travel to get around. In this particular match, I always seem to be able to flank people from the sides there all the time. I, I guess that's just one of the benefits of having Ghost on as a perk. Anyways, speaking of Ghost, uh, my other two perks would be... Uh, De there you go. Dexterity and Extreme Conditioning. I did not bother with getting myself a green perk because uh, really the only green perks that I use are uh, Scavenger and Toughness. And, and in, in your face shotgunning class like this, you don't really need either. Uh, usually because of the close quarters nature of the shotgun, you die really fast. And just as often as you go on epically crazy fast streaks. Anyway, so I was able to pick up my UAV and my Hellstorm missile there before I died. And I called in once again. I thought all those guys were going to the B flag, and I only picked up one more guy. One thing that I've noticed all the time is those trees there in that center courtyard, they stop. Tactical grenades, lethal grenades, even as you saw there, missiles from the Hellstorm. I guess the leaves are bulletproof or something? I don't know. It's really annoying sometimes, especially when I'm trying to throw Sentexes across the hallway. Anyways, here I'm just trying to track down this guy that's killing everyone, and I was able to pick him up. How the second guy there did not die from my hail of shotgun shells that I was firing at him, I have no idea, but he managed to kill me, and, but I turn around and get the revenge kill on him. Anyways, that uh, guy right there, I, get, I guess his name was Dark, he was using pretty much the same class that I was. So we, as you'll notice throughout the course of this game, we kind of go on a uh, M12-16 duel to see who can get the most kills and who can kill each other the most with the same weapon. Anyways, the end of the first round here is coming and uh, there's not much else to do except capture and maybe pick up some free points. So I go ahead and back cap that flag there and just uh, hopefully try and stay alive for the rest of the round. 
As you can see there, we're a little bit behind. Uh, nothing terrible, but they are definitely beating us by a decent amount. Um, it's very possible to come back and win at this point. However, as I told you earlier, I kind of spoiled it, and I'll let you guys know that we lost in the end. However, it was a valiant effort by our team because we definitely do much better second round. Anyway, so I helped Cap C there. I know that's what everybody does and how I usually like to play is I usually like to rush directly to B. Uh, but I was hoping to pick up my UAV there without having to actually jump into the line of fire, but it wasn't it was not enough points to get that. <laughs> anyway, so I was able to clear the uh, the B flag of enemies there and cap it. The hunter killer there came in and just killed me at the exact moment that I had decided to move. So it kind of looks like I didn't do anything, <laughs> but it was I literally was pressing the keys on the keyboard to get up when that thing killed me. See that right there is an example of the tree leaves blocking my concussion grenade, it just knocked it straight down, and I was not able to stun the guy all the way at the end of the hallway there. Anyways, some tips for using this shotgun is to definitely realize your limits. This is a short range shotgun through and through. It's nothing like the KSG or the 870 MC uh, MCS shotguns that when you stick long barrel on them, they can kill at insane ranges. This is definitely a ambush, hit and run type of shotgun. Um, some great tactics to use with it are to always use flanking roots, always stick to tight quarters like the inside of buildings, or to rush around corners like this and surprise your enemy. Uh, it, the one hit kill range on this is very low. You have to almost be within barrel stuffing range in order to get a one hit kill. And so earning camos for this gun is kind of challenging. I mean, you'll get it eventually, but it, it'll probably take a little bit longer than some of the other shotguns. However, the developers at Treyarch obviously did that on purpose to make it more balanced. Anyways, this guy here was completely oblivious. I can't believe that he didn't turn around to check the stairwell, because he obviously saw me running towards it. But hey, it's his loss. Anyways, I was able to defend the B flag there, and uh, I reload, and hopefully I'm going to try doing another flanking route, see if I can pick up a few more guys, maybe work on some more kill streaks. Uh, I try to get this guy... I, oh yeah, here we go. See, there you go. That's an example of the one-hit kill range. It's pretty close. You, you have to be pretty close to your enemy to uh, to kill them with one hit. But it's very doable. I know a lot of people are like, man, this shotgun is so weak. But in the hands of someone who knows how to use it, and then it's definitely a very viable shotgun that can be extremely dangerous. Anyways, at this point in the game, you can obviously see that the enemy team is just really pulling away, and there's not much we can do to come back. Uh, if, if we triple cap them for the next minute and 30 seconds that was left in the game clock, then we could probably come from behind and win. But at this point, it was almost a foregone conclusion that they would win. But hey, no biggie. I still get a ton of kills, and I still had a ton of fun, so in my book, that's a win. <laughs> Anyways, there I had the misfortune of being sandwiched between enemies. If I had managed to get behind the guy there on the right that ended up killing me, I probably pick, could have picked up maybe a triple, even a quad. But... Uh, Unfortunately, I was not that lucky, and as you play the COD games here in the multiplayer, you'll definitely see that luck has a humongous part in playing this game. Well, admittedly, you can't always rely on luck, and obviously you have to get skills. You, uh, you just gotta enjoy the game and uh, play it for what it is. Anyways, uh, the recording here, the video is actually stopped, but I'm still recording my audio here because for some reason the theater mode in Block Ops 2 decided to cut off the recording of this game at this exact moment. Why? 
I have no idea. Maybe I had a momentary lag spike in my internet connection or something like that. I don't really know. But as you can see in the game clock in the bottom left-hand corner there, you can see there's only 45 seconds left to go in the game. And uh, after reviewing the game film, I only pick up maybe two or three more kills. So it's nothing really exciting that you really miss. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video and uh, just say thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next video. Bye.